Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 59 of Six Figure Live. My name is Ben Hartley with Style and Story Creative and Six Figure Photography, and I am at... Where am I at? Starbucks. <laughs> I'm at Starbucks. The office internet is down, which is a super bummer, especially because we pay like $200 a month. It's freaking insane. Um, and it's down right now. Uh, and so we're over at Starbucks just holding down the fort. And I uh, wanted to come to you guys live here. Victoria, what's up, girl? I wanted to come to you guys live because I got emailed a question, and I wanted to bring up this question because I think I think there's a lot of value. I was thinking about the answer that I would give last night. I got the question in around like 11 p.m., and I was thinking about how I would answer it. And I thought, well, rather than just answering the email, um, that maybe you guys would find some value in the process as well. So, Lauren, what's up, girl? Scott, how's it going, man? Um, and so I want to answer the question for you guys today. Um, here's the deal, though. Six Figure Live, we're on episode 59. If this is your first time joining, which my guess is it's not, I know at least those five of you it's not. Um, this is my opportunity to bring you guys behind the scenes uh, of Style and Story Creative, Six Figure Photography, what's going on in my head, um, and to try to give you guys any value, any value uh, at all daily. Um, well, every weekday at least, Monday through Friday. So um, that's that's the entire purpose of this. There's 58 other episodes, and I want to encourage you guys uh, to go into the backlog, go listen to these things. Um, I think that I think that there's something there for you guys. So give me a thumbs up, give me some hearts, give me some comments. Let me know what you guys are up to today. Uh, so I can I can actually understand that you're there. The other reason why I do this is to just give you guys access. I mean, this is the opportunity. If you want to connect with me, if you want to ask me questions, if you want to uh, for me to know who you are, like this is your chance to just like say, what's up, Ben, and ask me a question. Um, there's no better way to do it. Uh, this is better than email. This is better than, than Facebook messaging me. God, don't Facebook message me. I just do not. I, I just don't get on Facebook messages. Um, okay, so a couple things that I'm up to today procrastinating. Just got, stop procrastinating, man. Go get a coffee and start uh, getting things done. You can't afford to press, procrastinate. And this is actually what helps me not procrastinate. This thing just like zaps me every 30 minutes and this is like, Ben, stop procrastinating. Um, so here's the deal. I'm getting ready. I'm going to be speaking at uh, Canada Photo Convention Toronto CPC uh, here next week, you guys. And so I'm finalizing some of my slides for that. That's what I'm up to today. Um, so it's, it's going to be really awesome. I hope you guys get a chance to, to come out uh, and see and hear uh, what I have to say. I think it's going to blow some minds. I think it's going to be awesome. And I can't wait to meet you guys. I can't wait to meet so many of you in person, whether it's at Canada Photo Convention or United or Mystic or Imaging. I'm super stoked about that. So if you see me, you guys, if you're at any of these places, come up and say hi and let's talk and let's like do fun things together. So, um, all right, you guys, uh, another quick thing, Vince, what's up, man? Uh, another quick thing is, um, the podcast, we are at over 75,000 downloads of the podcast and I'm super, super excited about that. Super thankful about it. And I want more photographers to see it. I want more people to, to see the SFP podcast. And so I'm holding a little contest here. It's ending on Friday. Uh, for $25 to Amazon virtual money and um, only six people have entered so right now the odds are like super in your favor you guys there's like a one in six chance just go do it it's right on the six figure photography page um, leave me a review I would love a review from you guys uh, a really genuine review of, of how the SFP podcast is um, just what your thoughts how it's helped you out uh, Vince you know I'm doing well man um, okay, so on to the question. I received an email last night with a question uh, from a gal, and um, I just wanted to kind of field the answer out to you guys. She was talking about an experience that she had at a wedding that so many of us have experienced where we're photographing a wedding, and then some other photographer comes alongside and starts shooting it. And this is, this is uh, you know, the, the Uncle Rick, the Uncle Bob, right, during family pictures with their iPhone or their Snap camera. This is for her, another photographer, an actual profesh professional photographer, Photographer who's photographing during the first look because the bride's mom had brought them in uh, involved with it. I think they were a family member or something. Uh, I've never listened to a podcast. I have no idea how they work. Android user over here. Victoria, it's just on iTunes, girl. There's actually a podcast app. It may even actually, I'm pretty sure it's natively installed in, on your phone. Maybe it's not. There's a podcast app. And, uh, and then you can just search Six Figure Photography. And there's a whole podcast there. There's a ton of content. I interview amazing people like every week for you guys. So go check it out, Victoria. Um, so here's the deal. How, she was wondering, how do I, how do I, how do we react to that? What do you do in that situation? You know, do you go up and you ask them to stop shooting? Do you say, look, I'm, I am the only contracted hired photographer. How do I handle this sitch? 
And uh, especially, too, she was bringing up the fact that now with, like, the iPhone 7 and, and the technology and how cameras keep getting more and more uh, accessible and, and um, amazing in quality and, and the fact that we're just going to be facing this more and more, what do you do? And so for starters, my answer is, Lazy, what's up, girl? Um, my answer to this question is it starts with being proactive. It starts with education, and, and, and it, has to be, it has to be before the event even takes place. You guys, every single couple that we meet with during the pre-consultation meeting, um, I'm actually going over this very specific fact up front, right? So there's a whole section of our contract that talks about how we are the exclusive photographer. And this, bri or this photographer's point was, well, it was in my contract. My question is, did you bring it up? Did you talk about it? And you don't have to go over this in length, but we do say to every single couple that just maybe even will consider to hire us, that if they go with us, that we will be the only professional photographer there. It's just common sense, right? And there's gonna be friends and family with, with cameras. And that's the second part. So the first thing is to nip it in the butt. You have to address it up front. You have to take the time to do that. The next thing is, um, you can't, you can't change anything. You just have to adapt because, damn it, you better not go up and and go ask the mom to say, hey, pull your photographer off. Uh, you know, this is my show. Like, there's just certain things that, like, when the wedding day is happening, um, your job is is to take pictures and not cause a scene. And so, um, florist with the camera, what's up, Madison? That's my sister. You guys go check out Heart Floral. Uh, if you uh, if you want to see some amazing work, some amazing inspiration of, of incredible floral design, go check out um, Heart uh, on Instagram. Anyhow, and so um, you have like you have to adapt. That's the way this works. Is is adaptation? Like, um, so and this happens all the time. Photographers love to complain about this shit all the time. You all go on groups and you all post pictures of people holding the iPads and people taking pictures with their cell phones. Um, and complaining will get you nowhere. You must, uh, you just, you must adapt. Um, and so th I guess that's, that's honestly my answer. Um, and even as this, re if, as it relates to, well, what if they take better images than me, right? Like well, I'm worried about them posting up pictures, you know, on Facebook before I get the chance to, I'm worried about them taking images right on their cell phone with their new iPhone seven in portrait mode and making it look amazing and putting them up on Instagram before I have a chance as the professional to do that again. You just have to adapt. You guys, things change. Technology is going to continue to change. And we can sit back and we can keep complaining and we can keep um, uh, getting on forums and, and discussing it. Uh, and we can try to put it into our contract as much as possible that that's not allowed. But at the end of the day, um, like you can't, especially now, you can't just sell photography. You can't just sell great images. Um, it's become commoditized. It really has. And so my encouragement is as, as I'm talking about adaptation, as I'm talking about adapting to these things, I even mean this from a business standpoint. You guys understand this. The, the playing field for, for photography is, it's like, it's becoming more and more level every single damn day. And so you can't just sit back and sell photographs. You can't sell clicks of the shutter. Um, you have to sell something more. You guys, do you want to know what I sell? Do you know how I know what I sell? When I meet with couples, I sell peace of mind. That's what I sell. That's how I've adapted, right? I don't just sell amazing images. Yes. Now, on the other hand, yes, my images happen to be freaking amazing, right? They happen to be really great imagery, um, but that's not what I actively go out and sell um, my couples. I sell the fact that when you hire us, you're not going to have to wonder, did we get the shot? Did the images look great? Where do I stand? How do I look? What do I do with my hands? Whose pictures are next? Um, I'm selling you peace of mind. And... Um, this is just something that I think a lot of photographers have the inability to, to really access. And so because of that, they get so frustrated and so caught up in, in image quality and so caught up in, in what other photographers are doing. And, and did this guest have a camera? I don't give a damn if guests have camera. There can be a guest right next to my side shooting. And, and I've got some techniques that I do uh, to help to um, dissuade that in a very, like, uh, friendly, like normal, like fun way. I can maybe talk about that in a minute. Um, but at the end of the day, they, they, they don't beat me. They don't beat me because I'm not trying to sell photographs. I'm selling something much, much more valuable, much bigger than that. Um, Carrie, what's up? Dude, Sir so, so Charles, I'm glad you're, uh, you're digging this, man. Um, okay, cool. So, uh, as we're talking about things changing, by the way, can we just address the fact that, um, Thing, like things are changing. We can't get romantic about 
uh, about, I mean, anything. We can't get romantic about gear. We can't get romantic about the way that we get leads. Can we talk about that for a minute? You guys, when Facebook changed uh, from the organic reach that you were receiving, all the photographers lost their shit um, and, and like freaked out about Facebook and how terrible Facebook is and how they're no longer are they getting leads through their Facebook page because... Well, because you guys, it changed and you, you have to adapt. Things change. We can't get romantic about this. This is why when I was talking yesterday, there was a, a photographer on here, I forget who it was, who was like, hey, I just signed up for, for the knot. I'm super excited. That's awesome. Sign up for that. Now, um, start building reviews there. Sign up for the free account for Wedding Wire. Start building reviews there. Start um, getting reviews on your Google Plus account, your Google Pages account, your Google uh, Places. Like, you have to be doing so many things because... Because who knows? What happens if the knot just goes under? What happens when these things occur? Um, same thing with gear. Like, you guys, everyone is so like, I'm Nikon, I'm Canon, I'm Fuji. Who gives a, like, who gives a rip? Um, just, like, uh, just don't don't be romantic about the, the tools that you have. No, just know this. It's all going to change. And you have to be willing and, and ready to adapt to that change. The people who will be in business, the people who will win, are going to be self-aware enough to recognize that, man, like, as things change, I'm just going to move forward with it. Like, um, it's so funny. I, 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 I even think of this to myself. I told myself I would never be on Snapchat. When this thing came out, you know, uh, however long it was ago, like three years ago, right, when it really hit the scene, you know, everyone's talking about Snapchat, this and that. And, uh, and I'm thinking to myself, like, this is stupid. Like, this is so ridiculous. And I'm glad that I've come around in, the, in regards to my thinking because now look at where we're at, you know. Um, this is just one of those things that uh, uh, the ultimate answer is, is adaptation and being, and being willing uh, and ready to change up front because that's really the only, app, uh, the, the only answer. Um, Nate says, I believe you also sell experience. You get the bride excited for the day and make them feel like models into the taste that talks about how awesome made her feel. Dude, Nate, you're right, man. Uh, you're absolutely right. It's, it's not, um, uh, you know, that's not the only thing that, that I sell and that I push. But I guess my biggest point is that it's not just about I am a guy with a camera who's going to take a picture. That's that's my point, you guys. You are not just a person out there with a camera who takes a picture. And this is why so many of you wrestle with pricing and so many of you wrestle with how much can you charge because... Because so many photographers don't believe that they're actually doing anything worth selling. They're, that they're actually not worth a price. Because they literally are just thinking of themselves as I have a camera. Everybody else has a camera. I'm going to show up and take a picture. Everyone else can do that. And on top of it, I'm doing what I love. How can I charge uh, to do what I love? And, and so many photographers have this self-limiting belief that, that that's it that they're doing. And if that's the case, then I guess you deserve to make uh, as little as you are. Um, but if you actually recognize that you have the ability to do so much more for people, to, to actually provide them with real memories, to give them their memories back, to remind them of who they love, why they love them, for a moment bring the dead to life. The, 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 the images that I have in my own house, when I get to see my, my late grandma, uh, well, her name's B, right? My, my grandma Hartley, uh, her name was B. That's who my daughter is named after. The fact that I get to see her in my house and my daughter gets to see who she's named after in a, in a physical picture, like, this is what you have the ability to do. Um, anyhow, you guys, uh, I'm going to get some more things done. Thanks for hanging out. Again, if you if you haven't uh, if you haven't checked out already, please leave it leave a review on the Six Figure Photography um, podcast. There's a link right uh, above or below this, and um, and get you guys signed up for that. Uh, I mean, hey, twenty five bucks, Amazon gift card. Go get yourself at least like a an a ND filter or like a polarizing filter, or put it towards that five D Mark IV. Um, whatever you need to do. You know what? Actually, you should do. You should go get a book with that twenty five dollar gift card. You should go get the book called Ask Gary V. Uh, go do that. That'll be more valuable than any lens that you could ever possibly get. Um, all right, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow. Fingers crossed. The internet will be working. Um, we'll see how it goes. Bye, everyone.